welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brittany and this is going to be a part of my river series. So today we are going to be walking through the float at Texas State Tubes in San Marcos, Texas. So I get a lot of questions about the logistics of floating specifically at Texas State Tubes. So I'm going to take you from start to finish, where to park, pay, leave your stuff, what the float is like. I'm going to show you what the rapids look like and then what to look for at the end of the float. I uh, will hopefully also be giving you some tips along the way. So if you want to find out what Texas State Tubes is like, then let's go. So a quick overview, the river entrance is here and this is where the, where you're going to park, pay, blow up your tubes or pick up your rental tubes. Then you get in the water, you float down to the end and then get in the shuttle and the shuttle takes you back to your car. The float is between two to four hours if you do not stop. Okay, so driving there, this is what you should see. You're gonna see some yellow signs and then it says Texas State Tubes. You're gonna come in here and then go through the drive-through where it says customers. And this is where you are going to stay in your car to pay and sign your waiver. Okay, so once they come up to you, they're going to give you the waiver to sign. You each individually have to sign. <clears throat> and this is where you pay. You can pay cash or card. And then they will also ask you if you want to rent tubes or if you have your own. Then they will direct you on where to park. So you park and then you start unloading your things. This is where I take off my dry flip flops and I put on my water shoes. Then we start stacking up all of our tubes. This big carabiner really helps with carrying the tubes because they can get really heavy. And then you walk to the blow up station to blow up your tubes. So quick tip, if it's a really busy day, it wouldn't hurt to bring your own pump, plug it up in their generator, and then use your pump, then go put it back in your car or put it in a dry bag. Another quick tip, unscrew both of these caps on the Intex tubes, blow up the big one first, screw it on, then blow up the small one, and then put it, the cap back on. Another reminder, do not bring these styrofoam coolers. They will make you throw it away and rent one of their own. Then don't forget a red trash bag that they provide you. So then you're gonna walk down this big hill. You're gonna be carrying all your tubes and all of your things. And then you're going to get into the water. Once you get into the water, only stay right here at the entrance to put in your cooler tube. I mean, your cooler into the cooler tube. Then you're gonna walk all the way down here, quite a ways down because um, you don't wanna start a traffic jam whenever you're trying to link up. So you're gonna walk quite a ways down because it's pretty rocky anyway, so you wouldn't wanna float this little area anyway and risk popping your tube. Um, but yeah, so just walk quite a ways down here and then start setting up and linking together. This is how we usually set up. We link together and then put the cooler in the middle. If you want more details on um, what I take and how I do it, please watch my other videos in my river series. All right, then you get in, start your float. Beware of this first little section right here, right after the bridge. Um, it can get pretty rocky, so someone might have to get out and walk you through it, or um, make sure that you're being alert and pick up your butt and use your paddle. This big tree right here is right after that bridge and those little mini set of rapids, so really be careful with that. Use your paddle and you might have to get out and to avoid this. And we're back to chilling and floating. And remember, you still can pull over if you would like. Um, just be aware of the time. And uh, I use the time that we pull over to reapply sunscreen and drink water. Okay, and then it's time for the rapids. You're going to notice the rapids whenever you see these bigger rocks. It's going to get a little bit louder. You're going to hear the water louder. Um, a lot of people will be getting stuck. So that's how you know that the rapids are up ahead. This is whenever I um, unlink from everybody. I wouldn't go more than two people linked up together. And this is where I put on my shoes. That's why I um, prefer these water shoes that have a good sole on them, easy to slip on and off. Make sure your paddle is accessible and get ready to go. So once you get to the rapids, make sure that you pick up your butt. You're gonna be on all fours, your forearms, and you're gonna be balancing on your legs as well. And your butt should not be on that bottom of the tube because these rocks will ram you and it hurts really, really bad. Now, when I say on all fours, I don't mean like this guy where you're on your tummy. You should still be facing up, belly up. 
please go watch my other video to see everything that I take because I take a lot of stuff with me and there are reasons that I take everything with me. I'll be sure to link that video below as well as at the end card. So again, you're going to be wanting to be paying attention. I almost hit this rock and got stuck here, but I used my paddle to maneuver off of it and off I went. So right after those rapids, it's calm for a few minutes and then there's another little set. You're going to see a big wall towards your right side go towards the wall. This will take you through a little bit of a shoot and this is a lot more fun to go on than through that middle portion where there's a lot of rocks. And still pick up your butt on this shoot. And then right here is what we call the big stop and you are able to stand here, get out and meet back up with your group. Try not to be too much on this bank here because this bank is private property. So just be mindful and respectful. Get really crowded on a Saturday or it can be nice and calm during the week. Just depends on what day you go. Saturday, weekday. This big stop, you have about an hour and a half left if you just keep floating and depending on the current and things like that. Then when you get towards the end, you're gonna see this big colorful wall and that's Texas State Tubes exit and you're going to pull over, get towards the stairs and start unloading and deflating your tubes, then walk them up these stairs. So you carry all your things up this ramp and then you get in line for the shuttle. Then you could put your cooler in the very back of the bus through the emergency exit door and then hop on and then they take you back to your car. Going to the river for the first time, please watch my other video of what to take. It will be very, very helpful and please subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye!